Hello everyone, this is Gautam Adish Shelly, I'm the founder of AI Sensei. Today I'll be sharing with you how you can broadcast a message on the AI Sensei platform to thousands of users very seamlessly and also how you can track the analytics of your broadcast and how you can retarget your customers users or your leads very seamlessly based on the behavior. The behavior could be they, they could have replied to your campaign, they could have read your campaign, they could have clicked on your campaign and you would want to retarget them based on these different behaviors. I'll be sharing all in this video. So let's go. Before you wish to create a broadcast, make sure you have two things ready on the AI Sensei platform. The first and the most important thing is getting a template approved which you actually want to send to your users. You can watch this video on getting a template message approved using AI Sensei platform. You can just go to manage and you can go to template message builder and you can create a new template message. 90% of templates typically get approved within 3 seconds on the AI Sensei platform. Once you have your template message ready, you would want to upload your contacts. So either you can import your contacts first and then do a broadcast or you can also choose the option of import and broadcast where you can simultaneously import the contacts where contacts are being imported and the broadcast is being sent simultaneously to the user. So you can also watch this video on how to import contacts under the drop down you can click on import contacts and then you'll see a pop-up coming up and then in the pop-up you can see that video you can see the video on how to import contacts also you can download the sample file modify the sample file and re-upload the contacts once you upload the contacts you'll be asked to map the right columns to the right attributes once you complete that process all your contacts will be imported in the ISNC dashboard now you can actually broadcast your message to these contacts in two ways via the ISNC platform one is from the contacts tab where you can just filter the contacts choose them and start a broadcast and second is from the campaign tab where you can create a new campaign and furthermore again choose your contacts and broadcast them. Both the processes are exactly the same. The UI is slightly different and I'll be sharing with you today how you can broadcast to your users from the contacts page. So once you go to the contacts page you can go to filter. So since I want to broadcast my template to a small set of users, I will first segregate this small set of users using tags and attributes. So you can click on filter, you can choose a tag, let's suppose I choose a tag called KYC 17 Jan and I'll get all those users who have been marked with this particular tag. So let's suppose I want to send this message to all those users who are marked with this tag and also they are marked with some kind of attributes. Let's suppose they are marked with a status attribute so I can choose the status attribute and then furthermore I can say okay completed. So if the status is completed and the tag is KYC 17 Jan, I can actually segregate this audience and broadcast a message specifically to this audience. Also I can choose between and and or uh, and basically means that uh, both of these conditions have to be true and or basically means either of these conditions have to be true. So if I mark an and you'll see the audience size shrinks to almost 150 odd people. Also, you can segregate the audience based on further filters. Like if you want to add users from your previous campaign, you can choose a previous campaign and you can add that campaign to here. Or you can choose intervene. Intervene means if who have already been intervened by any of your live chat agents, you can also choose intervene is set yes. So you can choose multiple tags and attributes along with multiple conditions across the platform to segregate your audience and choose your contact list for the broadcast. Once you get the right set of audience, like for now I have the right set of audience with the tag KYC 17 Jan and status is completed. I have 150 people in my audience. I can choose all of these people and click on broadcast. Once I click on broadcast, a pop-up opens up and I can choose a campaign name. Make sure your campaign name is unique and you don't overlap or create the campaign with the same campaign name that you have previously created. You can create a new campaign saying new campaign KYC completed campaign. Once I put up my campaign name, I can also choose a message that I've already got approved for now. Let's suppose I say I have a KYC verification broadcast. So I can choose a pre-approved template like the, for now I have a KYC verification broadcast and I can choose from the media library the kind of image I would like to post on this broadcast. Since this template is an image based template, I will have to choose the image on the fly while I am broadcasting this template. Initially when this template was getting submitted, either it is a case of a video or an image, we are not taking any kind of sample image or video from you. But once you are broadcasting the message, you will have to submit the image or the video that you are willing to broadcast to all your users as a part of that campaign. Furthermore, I can also choose a certain time if I want to schedule this campaign later on sometime. 
नेक्स्ट फीचर हेयर इज रिट्राई कैंपेज आई थिंक दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फीचर इफ यू आर ब्रॉडकास्टिंग अ मार्केटिंग मैसेज लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड अ कंसेप्ट कॉल फ्रीक्वेंसी कैपिंग बिफोर वी गेट इन टू दिस Frequency capping is a delivery limitation introduced by Meta so that a user is not getting spammed by multiple businesses at the same time or the same day. Meta introduced something called frequency capping, which says that you will not be able to send messages to hundred percent users. The delivery now is not hundred percent. Messages will be mostly delivered to those people who are more likely to respond to your message or who have actually previously opened your messages on WhatsApp. So now usually a broadcast gets 50 to 70% of delivery rates once they are broadcasting a message due to a feature by Meta called frequency capping. AI Sensei has introduced a feature called fail retry. So if let's suppose your delivery is 50% or 60%, 40% of your campaigns, 40% of your broadcasts will be failing. 40% of your messages will not be delivering to the users. What we noticed was that if you try to rebroadcast to these users after a certain period, a lot of campaigns, a lot of messages will actually go through. And hence we launched something called retry campaigns. so you can set up up to 3 automated retries which means let's suppose you sent a broadcast to 100 people and it only reached 60 people in the first go let's suppose you set up 3 retries let's suppose first one was after 2 hours next one was after 12 hours and the third one was after 24 hours now in the first retry we'll be starting a broadcast to these remaining 40 people whom the message failed in the first attempt let's suppose out of 40 people again 20 messages were delivered and 20 failed Again after 12 hours we'll be sending a message to these 20 users whom the message failed in the first retry and let's suppose again the message is delivered to only 5 people out of the remaining 15 people we'll be sending a message to these 15 people in the third retry now you can actually set up these three retries based on your campaign based on the size of your campaign usually it also depends on the urgency of your campaign if your campaign is actually urgent your time duration should be small but if you have time to broadcast a campaign you can keep longer duration so that your delivery is high longer duration could be something like an 8 hours or 12 hours or 24 hours and if you have automated retry set up for like 12 hours 24 hours 36 hours it is more likely to get higher delivery rates due to enable retries functionality sure so we'll set up some retries first retry i'll be setting up at let's suppose 6 hours and i'll add another retry so now the retry one says that retry one will happen 6 hours after the campaign completion of the first of the broadcast the first retry will actually happen after 6 hours of the campaign completion of the broadcast let's suppose i'm broadcasting this campaign now after 6 hours so it's a 150 people campaign which will get delivered in like 5 minutes or our delivery speed usually is 1200 messages per minute you can also increase this speed to 60000 messages per minute very easily by talking to our team if you have a larger volume of say 10 lakh messages or 50 lakh messages we can talk to meta and get your messaging speed increased very seamlessly but in general everyone on the platform has a delivery speed of 1200 messages per minute and that's also a very fantastic speed which means a campaign of 150 people should just get delivered within a minute in hardly a few seconds once this campaign is completed after 6 hours we'll initiate an automated a retry campaign to all the users this campaign was failed so now the my first campaign will go 6 hours after the campaign completion my next campaign will go after 12 hours of the previous retry that means from the initial broadcast it will be 18 hours from the first retry it will be 12 hours and then another retry will be going after 24 hours after the second retry means after one day of the latest retry total after 42 hours of the initial retry that i'm sending right now i can also test this campaign to myself and by putting my number and name here and now once i get this message i can actually click on send now and also broadcast this campaign to all my users very seamlessly once i broadcast this campaign i can click on go to campaign and i can actually view the stats of this campaign and i can also retarget users on their behavior come let me take you to the stats of this campaign and also show you how you can retarget on the basis of different parameters let's suppose i have to set up a campaign which has dynamic parameter set up where let's suppose you want to send a particular parameter you have to send a certain value which is pertinent to a certain user in the message let's suppose i want to send a personalized message right 
when I say, hey, hi, Gautam, this message is specially for you. Hey, hi, Gautam, your purchase was successful. Now, the term Gautam is variable to the user and it could also be pertinent and it could also state some value like your purchase was successful for this much amount or your purchase was successful for this product of this much amount. So now there could be two or three values which are dependent on the user type and these values differ from user to user. These values can be saved in the attributes and you can use these attributes in the template very seamlessly using ASNC platform. These could be static values where you can just say, okay, hey, hi, your, your shirt was ordered and the shirt, you can just type out shirt here in the parameter section. Or I can actually also choose from the attributes very seamlessly. Like in the name, I can choose the first name, last name. Also, I can choose from different parameters values, by, which is mentioned by dollar status, dollar name, dollar first name, dollar last name, and all of these values, dollar color. Once you click on this button, you will be shown all the attributes that you created on the SNC platform. And you can choose the exact attribute value that you wish to show here for the users. Like suppose I want to go with the name. Now, if in case this value is not present for the user, you can also put up a fallback value, which could be a static value most probably, that handles the conversation really well. So now let's suppose if someone has not entered their name, it is a very rare case, but let's suppose it's there. I can just put hey there. I can just put hey there. And I can press on enter to go ahead with this campaign. Furthermore, I can choose an image. And once I choose the image, I can actually move on to the next steps to broadcast my message. Also, I have chosen exclude opted out data. Now, we have a feature called opt-in management where you can actually ask a user to send you specific messages if they don't want to be informed or don't wish to get messages from you. They can send stop, unsubscribe, stop these notifications. You can also set up these keywords yourself in opt-in management functionality. Once someone is sending these kind of keywords, they will be automatically opted out from your campaigns. Now, Whenever you're broadcasting a campaign to someone, you will all you will be shown two kinds of audiences. One is the selected audience. One is the final audience. Your final audience is selected audience minus the opted out audience. And hence it is pre-chosen to exclude all the opted out audience since they have already opted out of receiving communications. But still if you feel that okay this message should go to everyone regardless they have opted in or opted out you can turn off this and send the message to everyone regardless they have opted in or opted out. But in general you should keep it on as it is already on so that you can just exclude those people who are not willing to receive communications from you. Further we'll move on to testing the campaign. Once you've broadcasted a campaign, you can check out campaign analytics by going to the campaign directly by the option that you get. Or you can click on the campaign and you can choose the particular campaign that you have broadcast. It is mostly the latest campaign that is visible on the campaigns page. Once you click on this campaign, you can actually see multiple options like sent, delivered, read, clicked, replied and failed. Also in the overview section in scheduled retries, you can see the timings that the retry is already being scheduled. Furthermore, in the delivered section, you can actually see who all the message has been delivered to. And also you can choose if someone has read or not read the particular campaign. So let's suppose you want to retarget a message to all those people whom the message was delivered, but have still not read the message. You can actually choose not read here, choose all the audience again and rebroadcast a campaign to them from here itself. Next, let's suppose if you want to broadcast and then you can go to the read section to see how many people have actually read your campaign. And you can also see that if they have read, have they replied or have they not replied? Have they clicked or not clicked? Let's suppose you want to broadcast a message to those people who have read the campaign but have yet not clicked. You can actually choose not clicked under the read section. Choose all of these contacts and broadcast a campaign from here very seamlessly. Next, you can go to the clicked section to understand who have clicked the campaign, how many people there, how many times they have clicked the campaign and also which CTA button they have actually clicked. If I wish to target specifically to those people who have clicked a particular button, I can choose the particular CTA and I can broadcast them specifically. Also, I can retarget the users on the basis of how quickly they have actually clicked on my campaign. Have they clicked the campaign within one hour? Have they clicked the campaign within three hours? Or have they clicked the campaign within 24 hours? And also I can retarget them on the basis of that. 
for the more I can also see how many people have replied to this campaign if this message contains a quick reply button also I can see which button they have actually replied on which quick reply button they have actually chosen and I can retarget them on the basis of that particular option furthermore if you are using quick reply buttons you should definitely try out our chatbot flows you can connect our chatbot flows using quick reply buttons and our chatbot can communicate with the users if you are broadcasting a quick reply button to the user using a chatbot you can enable seamless communication 24 7 with the users and engage and close better furthermore we have failed section in the failed section you can actually see why the campaign was failing if you go down you'll see the failure regions also you'll have to wait since there is frequency capping mostly something went wrong if there is something went wrong written there technically means that it is due to frequency capping these campaigns are failing and rest assured you, you have already set up failed retry campaign so you should wait till all your failed retry campaign completes and then post that all the audience that is remaining in your failed audience you can rebroadcast or retry one more message to them to see whether your campaign is going or not one basic tip is utility messages have a very high open rate and also has a hundred percent delivery rate so you should technically try to send more and more utility and authentication messages and then send marketing messages to get actually high open rates and high delivery rates also because once someone is watching that utility message you have a better ratio of delivering a marketing message also create more chatbots create more engaging conversations so that you can get higher delivery rates on your marketing messages thanks a lot everyone i hope this video helped you to understand how you can broadcast a template how you can retarget a template to different users based on different behaviors and also how you can view the analytics in the isnc dashboard thanks a lot